In this video we're going to uh, look at uh, changing fractions to decimals and real life examples where we might use this uh, skill. Okay, So example 1 we'll look at price of gasoline, example 2 sales price and example 3 nutrition. Okay? So we'll start with example 1. It says what does it cost to fill a 13 and one half gallon gas tank at 289.9 cents per liter? Okay. So it's basically two dollars eighty nine cent eighty nine point nine cents. So it's basically two dollars ninety. But you know, we'll just get the exact cent amount this way. <coughs> so what do we need to do? Add, subtract, multiply, divide what? So for one gallon it costs this, right? We want the cost for thirteen gallons and a half, right? So don't we want to do this? 13 and 1 half multiplied by 289.9, right? And maybe it might be a good idea to just turn that into a decimal. So if I turn the half into a decimal, what do I get? Can you remember what it is, by the way? See if you can remember what it is. 1 half is 0. Point if you don't remember, all you've got to do is go 2 into 1. And write that 1.00. And look, 2 into 1 won't go. Put the decimal point up here. 2 into 10 goes 5 times. So 1 half is 0 0.5. So we have 30 and a half is 13.5, isn't it? Right? So it's 13.5 times 289.9. And we'll go ahead and multiply those uh, decimals. I'll put the big long string of things on the top. 289.9 and the 13.5 in the bottom. So go ahead and multiply that. Um, basically, what I'd like you to do is press pause, multiply it, and then check your answer with me. Okay? Okay, ready? I'm going to do it really fast, real soon. 3, 2, one, I hope you press press pause and tried it. Okay, five times nine is forty-five. Carry the four. Five times nine is forty-five, and, 40, and four is forty-nine, and carry the four. Five eighths is thirty-two, and four is thirty-six. Carry the three. Five twos is ten, and three is thirteen. Put down a placeholder zero and multiply by three. Okay. Three nines is. Um, 27 and carry 2. 3 nines is 27. 27 and 2 is 29. Carry 2. 3 eighths is 24 and 2 is 26. Carry 2. 3 twos is 6 and 2 is 8. Put down 2 placeholder zeros and multiply by uh, 1. 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 9 is 9, 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 2 is 2. Add these guys together. 5, 9 and... Example 2, sale price. A shirt that costs twenty seven ninety nine is on sale for a third off. What is the sale price? By all means press pause and just have a stab at that. See if you can get the answer. So did you press pause and just try it? See what 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 might you do? Okay, so you've thought about it, right? Okay, I'll go and try it now. Twenty-seven ninety-nine. Let's see. So a third of that is going to be knocked off the price. Do you think we should get maybe one third of twenty-seven point nine nine? Would that be a good idea? That might be interesting. What is a third of the price anyway? And then we'll do something with that probably afterwards. So of means multiply. So I'm talking about one third multiplied by 27.99. Am I? So 27.99 is 27.99 over 1. And I can do, and basically what I have is one times that twenty seven point nine nine over three times one three. So of course I have to divide that by three. Well we should have we would have known that already, right? But um so let's do that. Um 
3 into 27.99. What does that give you? Three into twenty seven. Nine times. Three into and put the decimal point up here. Three into nine. Three times. Three into nine. Three times. So we get nine thirty three. So what we found is one third of twenty seven ninety nine is nine dollars thirty three. But what's the answer to the question? See, that's not the answer to the question, is it? We found what a third of the price is, but it's on sale for a third off. So don't we have to take the twenty-seven ninety-nine and take the nine thirty-three off of the sale price, or subtract it? Right. That's right, isn't it? 9 minus 3 is 6. 9 minus 3 is 6. Decimal point underneath each other. Uh, 27 minus 9 is 18. So if I take the third off, I end up with $18.66. And this is the final answer. That is the answer there, right? There's another way of solving this problem. Do you know what it is? Um, just for fun, and you don't have to do this, but if it's on sale for two thirds off, for, if it's on sale for one third off, then you're going to have to pay two thirds of the price. So what we could have done is went two thirds of twenty seven ninety nine, okay, and we would have got two over three. Of means multiply, multiply by twenty seven point nine nine over three or over one. Sorry and you multiply it by two-thirds and it ends up being the same thing anyway okay because you will just go three into that goes once three into that gives you the nine uh, thirty three and then two times three is six two times three is six two times nine is eighteen so you end up with eighteen sixty six that way so you could have done let's say I wonder what two-thirds of the price is and get eighteen sixty six that way okay Alright, let's have a look at example 3, nutrition. If a regular sized orange contains 74.2 milligrams of vitamin C, and a medium sized baked potato contains 17.4 milligrams of vitamin C, how many milligrams of vitamin C would you get from one and a half oranges and two and a third potatoes? Right? Okay, let's see. So what should we do here? By all means, press pause and try it yourself and then see what, what you come up with. So press pause and give it a go. What should we do? I'm going to eat an, one and a half oranges, right? And you know, if I write this out, if I write this out, so one orange gives me 74.2 so basically, don't I want to do um, take one and a half, basically, and multiply that by seventy-four point two, right? So one one and a half of this amount, right? And what about the potatoes? Two and a third potatoes, and there's seventeen point four milligrams in them, right? So don't I basically want to multiply it by two, but also get a third of it as well? So what I want to do is I want to multiply two and a third times the seventeen point four. Isn't that right? And the funny thing is, once again, in these examples, you might find that multiplying by the fractions actually works out best of all. So um, if I turn this into an improper fraction, so I can multiply the fractions, it might work out a little bit nice. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 and 1 is 3. That's 3 over 2 multiplied by what? 74.2 is a fraction. 74.2 over 1, right? And I can, this ends in an even number. So I can go 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 7 goes 3 times remainder 1. 
2 into 14 goes 7 times. That's my point up here. 2 into 2 goes once. So this becomes 3 times 37.1. And then I deal with this guy, right? 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 plus 1 is 7. So I've got 7 thirds multiplied by what 17.4 is the fraction? 17.4 over 1, right? And you might see that 3 actually does go into this number too. 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 17 goes 5 times. Remainder 2. And the decimal point goes here. 5 point. 3 into 24 goes 8 times, right? So it's 3 times that plus 7 times 5.8. Okay? And then you just multiply these out and then add them together and you're done. So let's see. 37.1 times by 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 7 is 21. Carry the 2. 3 is 9 and 2 is 11. One decimal space, so I get one 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 point three milligrams of vitamin C from the oranges, right? Plus how much vitamin C from the potatoes, two and a third potatoes, right? So five point eight oh, let me do it here. Five point eight times seven. Seven eights fifty six, carry the five. 7 fives is 35 and 5 is 40. One decimal place, so 40.6. 40.6, so I just have to add these guys now, right? So 111.3, add that to 40.6, and we get 3 and 6 is 9, 1 and 0 is 1, 1 and 4 is 5, and then 1. So we get 111.3 milligrams of vitamin C from the oranges, 40.6 milligrams of vitamin C from the potatoes. So altogether, 151.9 milligrams of vitamin C from the one and a half oranges and two and a third potatoes. Right. And just so you know, I mean, if you want, you could have, you could have just turned everything into decibels. Like one and a half would have, would have become 1.5, right? Times 74.2. The one third, uh, remember if one third you'd have to go three into one. And you get 0 0.3333, okay? So you could have done, let's say, 2.33. And then times 17.4, uh, okay? Just and this would have been rounded. The two point three three would have been rounded because the three three goes on forever. We've seen that, right? So if you wanted, you could multiply, turn everything into decimals, and then just multiply the decimals and add the add the answer. You get you get very close to the same thing. You get you get the same thing, but a little bit different because you rounded the three three here. Okay, but it'd be almost exactly the same, right?